Well, Thomas, congratulations. Your 450th win on the ATP Tour. I mean, Alexander's beaten some big players recently. You had to be at your best to beat him today, didn't you? Yes, I was playing really well. I was playing really uh, focused and very consistent. I think that was, the, or definitely, it was my my goal and my uh, approach to this uh, today's game. As you said, Alex playing really well. Last couple of weeks, he showed uh, that he can really make a lot of uh, damage and beat the good players. And uh, so that's why I took it as a really big challenge. And um, I'm very pleased with the way I handle it today. He did very well to recover the, the second set, especially. I mean, how do you go about tackling a player like Alex, who's kind of so quick and so difficult to predict? Yes, it's very difficult to find that good rhythm on the court. He he really likes to, you know, gives you the the rhythm that he likes to play, and uh, he's very tricky in that. But that's that's his style of the game. So you really have to be even more focused on the way how you play, how you you know moving between the points and uh, so that that was my main focus and uh, I was try to try to stay consistent from beginning till the end and I'm I'm very happy that you know just made it and turn turn other way around in the second set now you have beaten him four times now it's the first time today outside Canada but could you see an improvement today obviously he's jumped so far up the rankings this year could you see an improvement today compared to the other three times Yes, it is. It's uh, you know he he's been even more consistent in his game because that's I think that's the the biggest key for him because his game was always a little bit up and down and then really today you cannot you cannot effort it like that you really have to play consistent from from the beginning till the end and uh, with his up and down game was was very difficult when you know it's it's really nice proof of that result that he had in Indian Wells beginning of the year now in Miami so yeah it's going to be very dangerous player till till the end of the season and now obviously Rafa or Raonic in the semi-finals what are your thoughts on those two potential uh, rivals then you know it's a semi-final of, of 1000 uh, series tournament and you cannot you cannot get anything uh, or anyone easier easy opponent so either of them are are both great players I mean there is not much left to say about Rafa just one of the one of the greatest and playing really well back again and you know Milos it's a young kid that's serving really really big time I would say one of the best serving guys on on the tour now and you just you just need to and try to deal with that and that's it